Joseph Muscat, Prime Minister of Malta, what a time to be at the helm of the European Union with everything that's going on in the world at the moment. Now, you've been quoted as saying you think there's a small chance that Brexit won't happen, yet we saw the Brexit bill passed in the House of Commons yesterday. Uh, what do you think about that theory? Do you think Brexit's still going to happen or not? Well, maybe all those who wish the UK well and uh, consider themselves to be friends of the United Kingdom and would like the, European, the, the United Kingdom to remain part of the European Union are still wishing that this is not happening. But I think that reality has hit us hard on the nose and it is happening. So I guess the best case scenario once upon a time would have been that Britain stays inside the European Union. But from your point of view, what do you see as the worst case scenario? Could we be talking about tariffs between Britain and the EU27? Well, I think once the, um, uh, once the British Prime Minister said in one way or another that um, she's ready to walk away, walking away from a deal means reverting to WTO rules. I understand that um, Theresa May would want to position herself in that way at the start of negotiations. I do hope that that does not happen, for you know, uh, it would be in no one's interest really. I believe this is already a lose-lose situation. We need to make the best out of it. The best out of it in my books means a fair deal, but an inferior deal. And on the issue of migration, a big issue uh, for you at this summit, of course, according to a draft statement that we've seen, uh, the EU is actually going to consider returning people uh, to Libya. Why would the EU do that? No, I think that the way in which uh, uh, this is being interpreted is not right. What um, I believe is being discussed is how to help the Libyan government and other governments protect their own borders and manage their own borders. It's uh, whatever we do in the same spirit that we've done uh, in the Turkey deal would not go against the principles of international law. So there will be no returns under this, this no, what you're, talking, you're not interested in sending people back to Libya? No, I'm saying that it's not about the EU or European countries breaking international rules. It's about helping, uh, if they request so, the uh, Libyan government, which is right now very weak, uh, protect its own borders and manage its own borders. Yeah, forgive me for sounding a little cynical, but EU leaders have said this uh, many times before. What makes you think that if we just throw a lot of money at the Libyan government, they'll be able to solve what is essentially our problem? There is an issue on controlling migration, economic migration. We cannot just live in a world where people can uh, you have two ways to, to get into Europe. You either apply and get your visa refused or you can cross the sea and then you, 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 you get allowed in. It's, it's dysfunctional. We, so that's why I, I, I think we need to stress the, the need for other countries to manage their borders, us managing our borders, create a system where those asylum seekers, those refugees, those fleeing war and persecution, don't need to cross the desert and risk their life at sea, but are airlifted and taken to European countries where they can begin a new life.